Welcome to Uncanny, where every week we open, we open a, we open a can. We're, every week we open a can. Um, and this week, we have a very special canned mackerel. Um, irrelevant really what's inside. Uh, we are here for the design and beautiful red and yellow label here. Very to the point, great font. Um, 425 grams, great hand feel. Um, you could throw this, you don't have to. And when you put it down on a solid surface, it feels like you mean it. Um, you wouldn't want to put this in your driveway. You wouldn't want to run over it, anything like that. Um, something that was brought up to my attention recently on, on the internet was uh, mackerel is actually caught in the can, which a lot of people don't understand. I'm guessing they put the tomato sauce, which is what it comes in, in the can first. They um, they sneak up on the mackerel and catch it that way, or maybe mackerels are uh, genetically attracted to tomatoes. Um, we'll never know. In fact, as far as I can find on the internet, no one knows how uh, mackerel is actually put into cans. So, taste test. Now, you'd normally expect to taste a little bit of environmental uh, uh, metal there um, and you just don't it's quite a fresh taste which means that these are obviously given a bit of care as uh, as they come off the boats wiped clean or whatever um, and that's all well and good smell smells different on both ends <laughs> so do I but um, the, the weird thing about this is that the top smells like shelf and the bottom smells like warehouse. Um, this is a traditional uh, stick-on stick -on label. I actually don't know how much these cans cost because they were uh, uh, given to us. I'm assuming it's of the lower of the end budget-wise, but in saying that, it does have a good hand feel. Um, not a huge amount of air in the top, which uh, leads me to believe that they do fill it up quite high. But again, it takes quite a lot of effort to squeeze. It is still cylindrical at this point. Uh, ribbing goes all the way down, unlike um, our oak baked bean can that we did a few weeks ago, where it has a couple of ribs, gap, ribs, gap, couple of ribs. So, the thing that impresses me the most, nice clean top up there, nice ribs, down the side there. Um, expiry dates, all the things you don't need on the bottom there, it doesn't really matter. Has a nice sound to it when you hit the table. So uh, we're gonna get into um, exactly uh, the opening. We have our old friend, Lydia, here to help us out. How are you doing this week, Lydia? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, what, are you, what are you up to? I'm just looking for a new place. Um, right, <coughs> let's get into that. Uh, yeah, get, get on there, Lydia. You can really get a, a sense of the um, the rush of the, the gases to get out of there, which leads me to believe that the uh, the fish was probably still alive when it entered the can, which is quite exciting. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. Let's get that out of there. Oh yes, that's a that's a very well made can. Structurally integral. Um, like I said, ribs all the way down the inside. This particular can of uh, food does have a I would say overpowering smell of content. However, 
we can smell a lot of the can coming through. And this is probably the most canny smell um, I've particularly experienced. Um, taste test. Very, very strange. It's, it's, a, it's a not a particularly pleasant taste of can, but it, it definitely exists there. Colouring, oh, yeah, brownie, bronzy. The build quality is nice. The colouring, discount. I would give it a 4 out of 10, um, which is something I don't normally give cans. Um, 4 uh, on the higher end of the spectrum. So um, there you have it, um, mackerel and tomato sauce by Pacific Crown, good can, good nose, uh, if you like cans, and I love cans, so if you like cans, have one of those. Um, remember to tune in to next week uh, for another can, um, like and subscribe, because if you can kick it, um, we could also uh, kick it. Oh, and yeah, a taste, taste of the content there. Tastes like mackerel and tomato sauce.